Hello students of class 8 welcome to geography class so today we are going to study about India human resources so what is this human resources human resources are the people who make up the workforce of the nation so population becomes human capital when there is investment made in the form of education, training and medical care here. So human capital is the stock of skill and productive knowledge that the people of a country possess. Okay, So the people will become the resources and um, they will help the country in the uh, developmental work here. So, if you see the uh, negative side of this, negative side you can see, uh, it will be considered only the problems of providing the population with um, uh, food, education and access to the health facilities here. So, we call it human capital formation that adds the productivity power of the country just like physical capital formation here. Okay. So, investment in human capita uh, capital is done in education, training, then medical care. So, all these will come in return just like investment in the physical capital how it is done so next we'll see about the india's population and its distribution so as per the census of 2011 india's population um, on march 2011 it had stood at 1.21 billion so india has about 2.4 percent of the total area of the world but its population is about 17.5 percent of the total world population so that means you can see india is coming next to china here in the population wise so, although in terms of population, USA ranks third in the world population, but there is a huge gap between the population of these two countries here. So, the United Nations has estimated that world population is growing at an annual rate of 1.4% whereas in India the population is growing at annual rate of 1.64% which is quite uh, uh, dangerous. Next we'll see the geographical distribution here. So population of India is not evenly distributed everywhere. Okay, so when you take Uttar Pradesh, you can see it is the most populous state of the country with almost 200 million people living there. That means is more than population of Brazil. Okay, so Brazil is the fifth populous um, country in the world. So Uttar Pradesh is... Uttar Pradesh is having the population of Brazil now. Okay. Whereas the Himalayan state uh, Sikkim has a population of just uh, about 0 0.5 million here. Okay. So this shows that in our country the population is uneven. Isn't it? So it is maybe due to the physical uh, factors like uh, climate, uh, terrain or availability of uh, water. So all these factors are there. So you can see uh, when we observe the North Indian plains and deltas and coastal plains, they have got high population 
than the interior districts of southern and central states here the malayas and some north east and west states here so as the irrigation facilities are provided in rajasthan and availability of mineral and energy resources is there in jharkhand and the development of transport network is there in peninsular state so now you can see in these areas also population is uh, increasing here isn't it whereas earlier it was very thinly populated states so among the socio economic and historical factors of distribution of population important ones are evolution of settled agriculture and agriculture development and the pattern of human settlement development of transport network industries and urbanization so all these things we have studied in our history isn't it so it observed that regions which is coming in the river plains and coastal areas of india have remained the region of larger population concentration so when we see indus valley civilization also we can see that uh, the settlement was to place on the banks of river itself isn't it so even though the uses of natural resources like land water in these regions have shown the sign of degradation the concentration of population remains high okay so density of population is expressed as number of persons per unit area here so in that you can see the densely uh, populated uh, population in india that is 2011 is 382 persons per square kilometer and ranks third among the most densely populated countries of asia so after that it is followed by bangladesh and japan so when we see this uh, density of the population bihar has the highest density of population about 1102 persons per square kilometers you can see whereas arunachal pradesh has got lowest density of population that is 17 persons per square kilometer next we'll go to urban and rural distribution of population so when you see urban and rural distribution of population in rural areas the population is quite low when we compare to the urbanization here isn't it that is in 1931 you can see the growth rate of urban population as accelerated due to enhanced economic development more employment opportunity better living conditions and better services like education health transportation communication and banking so all these have helped the um urban population to increase here so at the state level the pattern of urbanization is very uh, diverse but economically advanced states more or less it shows higher level of urbanization so all the so southern states along with punjab haryana gujarat maharashtra and west bengal have higher urbanization levels than the national average whereas himachal pradesh bihar assam odisha so these areas you can see least urbanized states of india so the level of urbanization 
in the country as a whole increased from 27.7 percent in 2001 to 31.1 percent in 2011 so when we see the sex ratio here sex ratio is defined as the number of females per thousand males in the population okay so female rate is very low here so this information is an important social indicator to measure the extent of equality between males and females in the society at the given time here so the sex ratio in the country has always remained unfavorable to the females due to the following reasons that is neg uh, neglect of the girl child or uh, sex selective abortions you can see usually from early uh, ancient time itself you can see more preference was given to the uh, sons here isn't it so this is the um, sex ratio here okay so there is no equality in the male and female also okay students so i hope today's class was clear to you all so we'll continue our geography class in our next class thank you children have a nice day